Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an unboxing and review of a hot CD player, H-O-T-T. I will be giving my review later on in the video. So in the beginning half, we'll be unboxing it and then I'll give you my two cents if it's worth picking up or not. Here's the box. One thing I love is their color is orange. As everyone knows, that's my signature color. I'm gonna flip it around to show you the specifications. So right here we have an EQ mode. We have Bluetooth version 5.0. I'm gonna skip the four. Anti-skip protection, there's a button. So if you're like me, I like to disable it so I have better sound quality. Five, low power consumption LCD. Then six, it supports CD, MP3, CDR, CDRW format. So you don't have to worry about if you have any discs that you burnt. This is a very capable CD player, and we're gonna get into the unboxing now. So this is everything that's included in the box. You have your headphones right here. You have aux cable. And then my favorite piece right here, you have a power lead. So if you have a five volt brick, this doesn't come with one. You can run this off of uh, DC. And this runs off of two double A's. I have rechargeable batteries that I will be using. And on the back, you do have a hold switch. Right over here, we have our headphone jack. This is the DC in. And right here is my favorite. This is an analog volume slider. So that's really cool. This is how you open the unit. It's a side loader. So the unit faces this way but the, uh, the way that the unit opens is on the side. I have to get used to that. And this will conclude the unboxing. I'll give you my two cents on the unit if it's worth picking up or not. So let's get into that. So there's a lot going for the Hot 611T. One thing I like about it the most is the EQ. The EQ settings, there's various settings. So whatever the music you're listening to, you pop it on your headphones if you're using the standard ones that come with it and the staging depending on the audio how it was uh, recorded you can get such good quality and then when you're uh, just messing around in general finding that right EQ if it's rock classical PBS uh, even just nothing on it sounds good Bluetooth I paired it to my Sony AVR and it picked up the audio really well and you can use the EQ settings, the volume, where is that at? The, the volume, volume slider. So you can use that while it's operating in Bluetooth. And in my AVR is right over here. You can also use the volume knob to increase the volume. And everything worked really well with that. I didn't have a problem. comes with this so like me my AVR has a USB port in the back of it so I could have this plugged in with no batteries if I didn't have a blu-ray player which I use for my music so you could plug this in and have an AVR and have a good quality and especially small footprint because you have this and this cable connected to it in your entertainment unit and you just swap out your discs the quality from it is good enough I say it's definitely higher tier than I was expecting especially that you can use the EQ the volume everything just works but comparing it to my Panasonic 4k player the audio quality was noticeably different the only flaw that I can say with this unit which always annoyed me even a decade ago when Sony's PlayStation 3 had the glossy finish as you can see it is a fingerprint magnet and this thing is already scraped if hot is watching I would say get rid of this glossy finish and make it a matte finish and even include different colorways so you have a different color lid. I think that would be cool. I think what I might do with this is somewhat sticker bomb it to hide a lot of the scrapes. But other than that, you have a thin profile and the unit is really good. 
the battery compartment easily accessible so you don't have to worry about your fingers and uh, trouble getting them out great unit comparing it to this guy right here that's been on the market with its flaws if you can catch the uh, hot player which right now the 611T on Amazon is going for 30 bucks. So if you can get your hands on it now and you want one, get it now because one, I would say getting this alone, plugging it into your uh, computer or into the wall with no batteries and just jamming out with a Bluetooth speaker, it's worth the price. On YouTube, there's a lot of videos on Clem CD players, though it doesn't matter which one, they all pretty much have the same features. Some of them have more with later revisions. Though, I got my hands on one and I was anticipating this thing to be really good. A lot of people were saying it's such a great player, but I couldn't recommend that one over the hot player. Just based off of the EQ setting, sounded much better. So if you are on the market, I wouldn't grab a Clem, despite what you hear people say that it has great quality. Yes, the headphones are pretty good. They have earbuds. Though, from my experience, because I use KPH 40s from Koss, and when I was comparing the various different music from that player to my broken one before it broke, the $30 Memorex was better quality, sound quality at least, than the Clem. So, with that, I would say if you have enough money, grab both and compare it but the built-in battery the bluetooth the radio the fm tuner if you're getting one that has an fm tuner an sd card slot all those fancy features cannot be justified for just a simple player that has uh replaceable batteries but even just alone if it has bluetooth i would still go for a standard player over a premium player Thanks for watching, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.